so uh, today's question is is subsequence so in this question what it is given is that we are having two strings s and t so we have to return true if s is a subsequence of t else we have to return false so what is a subsequence a subsequence is a string a new string that is formed from original string by deleting some uh, can be none of characters without disturbing the relative position of the remaining characters example a c e is a subsequence of a b c d e so while a e c is not so basically what is given is a b c d e so uh, this is the string t and uh, our string s is a c and e so if we delete a uh, few elements from a uh, string t we should be able to achieve string s or we could uh, say that uh, yeah so or else we could say we could add uh, new elements uh, here and there in s such that the relative order between a c and e should not change okay so what is uh, what comes to my mind is uh, we could just run a for loop and uh, that would iterate from uh, i to n that is t of length and uh, what i will do is i will check if uh, this character is there if this character is there in a string s or not okay so for a string s i will be maintaining uh, uh, integer that will uh, calculate the position of string s okay so after this uh, yeah so when we are iterating for a string t uh, we will see that uh, if t of i like the character at uh, i uh, is there like uh, is equal into position of s let's say like this and uh, so I'm not uh, correctly writing this uh, it's a pseudo code so I and uh, then what we have to do is uh, we are here and s of i yeah so basically sorry s of j so basically uh, what we are uh, seeing if this condition is successful then we will increment j so uh, this uh, this is met when uh, any character in t is also present in uh, s okay but the relative order as well as uh, will be matrix because uh, let's say uh, we got e initially then this won't be satisfying that condition and uh, since uh, we are not able to find the c character first then Yeah, so if we are not able to find C character in the uh, string T, then uh, it will uh, return false. So after this, uh, yeah, we could close it. And at the end, what we can do is uh, we could see if uh, uh, J value is equal to S of length. That means uh, we have uh, iterated through all the characters. Then uh, we will return true, else we will return false. Okay, so let's see the code so here we have mentioned j equals to 0 uh, that is uh, going to be the vector for uh, like uh, pointer for uh, s string and uh, then we are iterating from i equals to 0 to uh, i uh, like t of length and then we are saying that uh, if j value is less than uh, the length of i uh, the length of the whole string s because uh, there could be a case where um, you you have just empty string s so that time uh, that value should not be uh, interfering because in the later step uh, we are going to see if the character value at index 0 so that should not be occurring so that's why we have used this condition here and ended with the uh, uh, seeing the condition that uh, 
the string s character is there in string t and if it's that's true we will be just doing j plus plus and this will continue and at the end if uh, j value is equals to uh, the sum of uh, if, uh, j equals to uh, s of length then we will return true else we will return false yeah, that is so 